Okay, so we're going to look at another way of producing a multi-body part. Here is a lofted part that I've produced earlier. So just having a look around, showing you a few different views of the part we're about to work on. So the loft over here in the toolbar is as follows. If you want to try and re recreate this, here are the dimensions. It's a simple loft. Okay, so let's set about looking into how to start splitting this uh, single body part into multiple bodies. So let's draw on the top plane, change the view. And I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm going to use this circle to divide the part. So let's constrain the circle so it's in position and doesn't move around. Constrain the center by the right plane. Dimension it from the origin. Make it a nice round number, 150 mil. And then give the circle I dimension. Okay, so this is our template for our first split. Now, we can use a tool called the split tool. If we go through our various toolbars, it's sometimes difficult to find the option. But the option can be found by heading to the search parameters at the top right hand corner and typing in split. Oh, that's not spelled very well. Split. Here we go. And here's the split tool. So we want to make a 3D representation. OK, so we need to select to cut the part. So that's we've got the sketch already pre-selected. Let's select cut part. And then select, so we've got two selection options. Let's select part one, part two about the sketch. So we have two parts or two bodies, both selected. And let's click OK. OK, so now we have two bodies. So solid bodies in, within the file, two. We turn the outer body off. You can see our new cut section about the circle template. Okay, so there are different ways of using this tool. So let's create a line on the top plane. So sketch. Let's put a line across the object. So we want this line to be curved, so meet in the middle. Select the other side. Balance both sides so they're parallel by making them the points horizontal. You have a horizontal curve. Let's add some dimensions so we can fully constrain this this sketch. So 
So for instance, if you were designing some kind of bottle with a lid, you might use the split feature to split the, the bottle from the cap. So type in split, a 3D representation of a single designed component. Select cut part, we have three options. Select our first main body, our cap, if indeed it was. And we need to select the circular part again, even though it was selected previously, to maintain that we have three parts. Click OK. And we have we now have three parts. So we've basically used a line to divide up the component as, a, as opposed to a, a full shape. Just to show you the two new components. Okay, now there are there may be times when you want to offset your two cut components. You might not have a perfect fit as you do with these two uh, these two new items here. So you could actually here's a pre here's a sketch I prepared earlier. So just a template sketch uh, set about the front plane. So this sketch I'm going to use to show you an alternative way of splitting the part. So I'm going to perform an offset. It's bidirectional and it's of the general shape I've input as a template. Everything else is uh, construction geometry. These offsets are going to be actual reference geometry. So offset by 0.5 either side, so one, one millimeter. So I can take this sketch, perform an extrude cut through all in one direction from the center plane for all in the second direction and by performing this action this cut extrude I have effectively yep I want to keep all bodies very important I want to keep both I've divided the two components again so I have a fourth body with a component that's offset. So this could be useful when you need a gap because uh, in general, when you're designing components, you will likely have gaps or tolerances for fits. Here's my, yeah, here's my fourth component. Okay, so a few ways of subdividing to produce a multi-body component. So just to show, just finally, let's change the color of the main body so you can see the parts all together. And that is it.